капитальная скорость, она, в общем-то, особо влезла. Соловьев. Well, obviously the core module, the one that has been up there for 11 years, over twice its design life, is the one that's showing the greatest uh, sign of uh, age. Uh, you have systems that have been operating far longer than they were attended. They're beginning to corrode, beginning to uh, come unraveled, basically the way a car would be if it had been driven that long and that hard. Well, the collision uh, with the Spectre module several months ago was probably about the most serious accident that has ever occurred in space that didn't kill anyone. Uh, the space station has had a lot of problems since then, and most of those are attributable directly or indirectly to that collision they had a couple of months ago. Well, the solar arrays from Spectre were basically providing about half of the solar power for the entire station, and that's almost enough to run the station, but it's not enough to do anything else, and it's really not enough to run the station safely. These are basically the solar arrays on Spectre. Uh, they rotate, and the problem is that they currently don't have them lined up with all of the rest of the uh, solar arrays so that they'll always be pointing at the sun. Well, thus far, I think that the technology that you see in the station, even though it looks cramped, even though it may not look quite as high-tech as the science fiction movies, that this system has been operating in space twice as long as it was designed for. It survived some major accidents, and I think it's clearly proven to be a much more robust technology than some of the other fragile systems that countries have launched in the past. Well, one of the concerns is that they're always just one more accident away from having to abandon the station. That's why they want to get the power level back up to reduce the odds of that. But I think that everybody's watching it very closely because they might have to abandon ship at any minute.